Hello my wonderful people, viewers and subscribers. See, make on a still remember what I told on last time oh, I said it. Propaganda will fool the internet these days. <laughs> but I say a liar the lie. Anyway, don't start to <laughs> a lot of things can then they happen for this uh, we about the zoo, whether you call them whether a zoo, I've been a country, I've been a state and capital itself. Hey, that one eh, you don't even give me a mouth to talk. But whichever way it is, so make on a here waiting on the happen for this we obodo biafran and the struggle according to simon ekpan joko the biafran prime minister uh we there for republic in exile according to the information anyway i don't want to waste much of our time oh back on here how the thing take happen breaking news there's a an organization called o Arabi international they are bringing a very, I mean, they have raised a very, very important report over the Biafrans. In fact, the report where they make this these days now have exposed the evil agenda that the so-called Zoological Republic of Nigeria have over the Biafrans. According to their findings, look at what the, the so-called zoo are talking or tell them or told them. They said, keep an eye on the Biafran referendum. So I can categorically tell you that that day, that day, that 2nd of December, eh? Hmm. If you don't take time, these people will send spies, so they will even send uh, all these uh, suicide bombers on the venue of that convention. If you not take time, the cabal that is holding the so-called zoo down, the people that is holding the zoo is not even the cabal, flannel cabals, or oligarchies, or, or caliphate. No! The main cabal that is holding the zoo down is in United States of uh, I mean, United Kingdom's government. They are the one that is holding that place down. And that's the more reason why it seems like uh, our cry to have uh, our independence, the state of Biafra, have not been yielding any result in the past. But I'm very, very sure that this time around they have no choice. If the U.S. Congress uh, men can join the, the flow, if the uh, U.S. Uh, 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 Department of uh, Justice can join, the Department of State very soon now will join, now an orbit orbit orb means uh, opinion research business that is what it means international is a global monitoring evaluation of the research and the analyze fame for over 25 good years they have helped clients answer some toughest questions in some of the world's most challenging environments so these people went to the biafra land they do what they call a uh, um, public opinion i mean like uh, this one uh, okay like, like let me uh, put it that way public opinion over why that we must have the independent uh, uh, state which is uh, the united states of biafra and the answer is what we are about to read now so if you get this message help me like share comment and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos coming your way tgif thank god say on friday with day breaking news the ORB International Report on Biafra Referendum has exposed the Nigerian evil media. Uh, the truth is finally out. They went to Nigeria and the Biafra and they have interviewed Biafrans on the reason why we, they should give us Biafra. He said, why do Biafrans want independence now? That is the question they asked the Biafrans. And according to the uh, Ekpa, who is the Prime Minister of the BG, the Biafra Referendum is justified given the marginalization faced by many Biafrans living in the southeastern regions of Nigeria and the ineffectiveness of the so-called national government in solving this very matter. This sentiment is backed by ORB International's most recent public opinion polling in Nigeria. It's called public opinion pool. Anybody can do it. Even in the U.S., they are doing it. In uh, Iran, Iraq, even Israel, even in the what well, so called uh, what do you call it um United Nations also can embark on public opinion to ask people what they think concerning the agitation of the Biafrans. This sentiment is backed by ORB International's most recent public opinion polling in Nigeria. Nigeria in the south, Nigerians in the southeast and south south regions are most likely to perceive the national government. As ineffectiveness compared to other regions who are enjoying the dividend of democracy while others are busy languishing in uh, pover abject poverty. Anyway, ORB, according to the decision, the 
they, discuss, they discover us when they ask the zoo. The zoo only tell them, keep an eye on the dear friend self referendum. <laughs> By Bridget Dubuso, senior research analyst. Nation come out, call expose this, you know, say, they're gonna see waiting the media house. They tell us, say, may we put an eye on the self referendum. In other words, they didn't trust our self referendum, but. Uh, it has happened, we say it has happened, so there's nothing they can do about it anyway. Let us take the reaction <laughs> so, from the people here. We don't know, uh, we don't have anything to do with all this uh, lie lie house of rep members. According to Simon Ekpa, Donia is it done to say this is what happens uh, when the children of corrupt politicians takes over from their corrupt politician parents. And he comes from Aba and uh, he says Nigeria doesn't violate human rights, but some Zojira violated Martin Nam the Kano's human rights. Reason. None of any Nigerian politician picking we go to heaven. <laughs> and so now, look at this man now. Nakis men who for from Mazinam the Kano's uh, uh, region. Anyway, I think uh, it's better you people listen to what this man talk before uh, you can be able to understand that comment where this man make because uh, he's talking about nobody's uh, trampling upon uh, anybody's uh, human rights. But Mazinam the Kano human rights have been violated in so many occasions. Not only Mazinam the Kano, most of the Biafran's uh, human rights have been violated. Biafrans are still in DSA today, man. As Martin Nam the Kano, Biafrans are still in military. Biafrans are still being held in police custody. But look at 560 Boko Harams have been uh, relieved, and they are doing training to, uh, to, to 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 initiate them back into the system. People who take arms against the government are being forgiven. When they are being captured, Governor Zapara said, cried that these people. When they captured, even to the extent they will be confessing that they have by military men, they have by police, they have by NSTCDC, Navy, and name it. The Nigerian government see tell them, ah, this one are repentant Boko Haram. Okay, they repent when they were being captured inside the cell. That is when they repent. Tell you, we don't repent now, right? And you are integrating them into the society. What about people they killed? The other day, some for us, um, um, uh, as of rep member, married off 105 uh, orphans. That is bandits, banditry in Zafra State. Boko Haram's make them orphans. And <coughs> sorry, and they married them off. Can you imagine that kind of a country? A children that is not at least the highest, the oldest one among them should be 25 years at their reproductive age. You want to get them with marriage. Manufacturing poverty, left, right, and center. Tomorrow they will look for who, who to blame. Tomorrow they will look for who 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 to uh, uh, to get the mineral resources that they will go to suck. This is this is it. I'm not gonna listen to this uh, one of all these uh, fulefu that is in that national assembly. Equity, and I represent the artisanal people of Abba North and Abba South in this incorruptible assembly. Incorruptible, hmm. Mr. Speaker. I would like to speak very briefly about some of the contents of this Samoa agreement. Mr. Speaker, this agreement has certain clauses that happens to be in variance with our way of life. We are Africans, we are not Westerners. We have our laws, we have our way of life, we have our way of doing things. And as far as I'm concerned, this issue of human rights, which Nigeria does not in any way violate, should not be implicitly enshrined into this agreement and members representing the people. This is the people's house. This is the people's parliament. We stand here in my own right. I represent over one point something million people from our back and i have been told that this particular human rights clause happens to be reprehensible abominable and we do not intend to stand for it yeah, do i wait. speak the minds of my people here yes. Yes. so mr speaker we cannot continue to do things that do not align or that is can you hear me? Yes. Go ahead, sir. We cannot continue to engage, engage in contrived way of governance, cosmetic way of running government. Let us focus on the issue, issues that matter. Our people are hungry. 
Yes. Our people are starving. Yes. People cannot buy food. There is insecurity. There is no light in the country. Industries are not growing. Let us tell ourselves the truth. Why are we here talking about LGBT, GTBT, whatever? Let us concentrate on the issues that matter. As far as I'm concerned, Mr. Speaker, our people are not interested in this. So let us step it down. Let us close it. Let us forget everything about it. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, please. Mr. Speaker. That is the voice of a flavor that you people are hearing. According to them, they said Nigeria have never trampled upon anybody's human rights. This man uh, talking now come from the same state with Imaze Namdekano, who is still in incarceration, even when their second highest court uh, of the land said, Free this man, let him go. Those are the people. Look at the flavors. These are the Ife Juna. These are the Zeeks. Nam the Zeeks. Look at them. Who only benefited, I mean, they only concerned about what they benefit, not all, not uh, what uh, their constituents or whoever they represent benefit. This man have, is not even find himself in the, in that uh, 50 lawmakers that uh, Ubi Agwacha uh, carried along to play the, with whoever for the list of mass and the can. You can see how deadly these people are. From other states, he said, Nobody that the government have not trampled upon the rights of anybody. According to this man, they said we move. Yes, we are going to move forward. Though. The devil can't stop what God is doing in the land of Biafra. According to this, my people, Bankala said, Holy Simon, pray for us. Holy Simon, pray for us. Bishop Epa, God is your strength. Hey, while I, hey, while I think about you, if I'm a Yoruba people, and according to this, my brother, I said, Biafra Mass Exodus 2024. Uh, Gandhi, he had said, My PM, now man, you be Yakotoba, yes, so Yakotoba, Edison, Anyama said, But uh, you do, uh, but you know that uh, when Biafra is a correct state position, uh, still quarrels will never end. Nigeria liberated itself uh, from the British tyranny, and now. Biafra seceding from the central Nigeria. Let's have sense. I'm from Uganda. Okay. <laughs> but even this your comment self. Don't even make any hair. I don't even understand anything there. Anyway, only oh, child come talk to say um they say that uh, they will not agree for us. And now we are ready to agree for them by force. And they will surely do as we say. Now that the international media is reporting about us. And our voting for referendum, it is over for Nigeria. We told them that we are coming with a fire. Now, according to Simon Ekbasi, see, remember that what he said? I will speak to them the language that they will never understand. Until now, they see never understand that language, you. <laughs> While I do what you, they see never understand the language. And, and, and so we see they confuse them. Now, so they just say, keep an eye on the Biafra self referendum. By that time, we are going back home. And I told you to take B. So, my wonderful people, I beg you, may we just take this last uh, com uh, comment, I beg reaction, so that uh, we are going to round up this broadcast because we are going to go live later today. Maswell, the man of the contact say the southeastern state is not only being uh, marginalized, but under severe suppression of the Fulani system. How can anyone explain the deprivation of the state of federal presence on infrastructures? But instead, a conversely military presence promoting killings and despicable crimes. Now, so the, now that is part of this. We will complain. Anyway, my people, now here we will take about break. Like, share, comment, and make sure you keep subscribing to my channel because more of these videos will be coming your way. My name is Siri Man. I'm Andy Anese. I'll be right back.